What's going on, everybody? My name is A.T. from Headcrack Studios, headcrackstudios.com, and this is Kill Sesh, a one-on-one tutorial with yours truly, A.T., a.k.a. Logic Kill, and yes, we are back. Pardon my hiatus. I did get a really busy with some um, engineering work for clients and also some work for myself because I do practice actively in the art of hip-hop, but yeah, so today... I'm going to jump right in it. Today is a video request from one of my fellow, one of the fellow subscribers to the channel. His name is Testimony One. What up, brother? He suggested a video on how I how I go about starting a Studio One beat making session. So I know I did a recording, I mean, sorry, a mixing session, and it'll pop up in the top left so you could click that and watch that. But um, I'm going to go through and I'm going to show you guys how I get started making a beat in Studio One. Now, disclaimer, I am not the best beat maker and I am not the most active beat maker. I do a lot of recording, mixing, and rapping, and recording singers and clients. So, let's make this an open discussion. If you guys have any other tips or you guys have a better way, just point blank, a better way of doing things, by all means, spam the comments and let me know. Because... I like to learn from you guys too. I'm not a know-it-all. I just give some tips to help. But if you guys know more than me, let's get it. Because I am always open to learn. But here we go. So I'm going to start with my sample. I just dragged it in from Splice right there. So I'm just going to press space bar on the sample really quick. And we can hear it. Yep. Yeah, and I did pick this sample on a rainy day, because why not? But here's the info we want. We want the key, and we want the BPM. Now, my last video, you know I use mixed and key. If you watched it, if you didn't, go ahead. It's setting up a mixing uh, session. But here we go. So that's what we want. Sorry, I get sidetracked, man. My brain is crazy. F minor, 95 BPM. So let's get it. All right, and another quick disclaimer. I'm using... Another version, a previous version, 5.1.2, instead of the 5.3 current edition. This is the current edition I use still for mixing because I tried doing this video at least four different times. And every time I tried on 5.3, it would glitch as soon as I hit my pad on my MPK. So I hit up PreSonus tech support and they told me that it's a common issue is happening with a lot of Mac users. So just install a previous version. Uh, they suggested 5.1.2. So if any of you guys are experiencing that, I would suggest using the same one I'm about to use right now. All you got to do is go to your PreSonus account down. Um, it's in the sorry, it's in your account. And if you go to Studio One, you click it, it'll say view previous versions and then you can download this one. This is the one I'm going to use today. So upon clicking Studio One, if you've never set up your keyboard, it would it should recognize it in these beginning stages, right? The same way it goes through all your plugins, it'll recognize your MIDI keyboard. Now, if it doesn't, I'm going to put a link below in the description to a video that helped me get my keyboard set up because I want to run through some stuff with you guys and I don't want this video to go crazy long. So... The video, uh, the, uh, if your keyboard doesn't pop up instantly, like mine didn't, I don't, I don't remember, but it might not. So I'll, the link will be in the description below and it'll help you out. And this is proof that I tried to do this session a bunch of times. So I'm going to do it again. Um, let's see. I believe we said F minor 95. Yep. So we're going to do this in honor of our guy testimony one. And we're going to name it that testimony huh, to 195 BPM F minor. Same thing as the mixing session. I don't save anything, any of my sessions on my actual hard drive. It goes on an external because it saves a lot of space and a lot of hard drive space. So songs, kill sesh, open. So that's how I get started. A hey, and testimony one. This is your question. I still stay with 4824. If your computer can handle it, you can go way higher. I don't really see the need to. And that's a whole nother uh, topic, you know, a whole bunch of music, uh, you know, digital theory and all that. But for all intents and purposes, this is where I stay. Time based bars, song length. If you know your song is by to be super long, then go ahead and up it. I keep it at five because I typically stay within 
you know, four minutes, 3.30. Tempo, 95, as we saw. Key signature, time signature, sorry. I keep it at 4.4, standard, really. I mean, you know, I know the music theory guys are going to kill me, but yeah, it's pretty standard in, in uh, hip-hop or pop and R&B. But yeah, you can go crazy if you know the key signature you want to, I mean, sorry, the, the tempo you want to be in, the time signature. Key signature, F minor, where we know that, that's the key. Let's go ahead and press OK. And I just like to do this. I mean, you could do it a different way. I just drag the sample in. Or, Command Z, Files, and we can even do it that way. Let's do Desktop, and here it is. Same thing, boom, bang, biggity. Drag it in. It's actually a little faster because it doesn't convert. All right, so now that we have our sample in, right, I'm going to press Command S and save. So I like to start with a sample. I'm a pretty sample heavy dude. Uh, you don't have to, and I'll show you all the instruments there are. So here's the sample. What I'm going to do is just drag this to a four bar loop and drag this to a four bar loop. What I'm going to do next is make sure this little triangle is clicked on. That is our metronome. So if we mute this really quick. Yep. Sounds like it is 95 BPM. Like we stated. And this we're going to need later. This is our pre-count. So just turn that on. So now, browse. So, let's play the sample. Boom. Oh, I wanted the loop. Let's hear the loop. It's a nice loop. It's a nice loop. All right. So first thing that goes on in my rapper brain is I just want to throw some drums on this to get the feel for it, right? And that's what I'm going to do. We're just going to get started. We're not going to go crazy because I want you guys to be able to enjoy this video and not have this video be three hours. So I'm not doing any of this. We're going to go to browse. We're going to go to instruments. And let's do impact. Impact. <laughs> that is our drum machine for Studio One. Boom. Now we can name this drums so what just happened is studio one created an instrument track as you can see right here instrument editor this is i forget what that is. oh that's a wave so that's an audio file this is an instrument track if you see that and then once you click that it brings you to the actual instrument and if you see this here are the drums now watch this change oh you see all these these are all the different stereo outs so you can have and it'll be a lot easier to show you guys. So let's just go into impact. Let's load up a preset. Let's do chilly hop, chill hop. <laughs> All right. So now what we want to do, first thing foremost, is direct input. We want MPK 249. So now if I click my pad. Yep. Ooh, I like that snap. Yep. So now it's working. So, there you go. So now the cool thing is, look, everything has its own stereo out. So I have drums, right? And I'll also put a different uh, link to another video that goes super in-depth on this. But basically, all of these, so if you see these, right? If you see two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, if you click impact, you'll notice one, two, all of these are going to two. Three, three. So if you notice the numbers, those are the outs that, are, that they're going to. You see? And it's correlated to the pads. They mapped them out for you on this preset. You can do this all on your own manually, but for the sake of time, we're not going to do that. And let's go ahead and try to lay down some drums. I might suck at this because, like I said, I don't make beats that often. But let's try. Let's play it really quick, though, before we record. Make sure the metronome's on. My pads are kind of slow too. Hold up. All right, let's try that. Just a little, just a little, 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 little uh, drum pattern. Yeah, don't kill me, don't kill me. I'm a way better rapper than I am. I'm a beat maker. So let's go. 
So now what I did is I double clicked it, right? And it's kind of nice that I messed up so much because we can go in and quantize this if we wanted. So I double clicked what I did with the arrow, right? You know, if you have the cross, it'll just kind of highlight everything and split it. So double click, highlight everything. Wait a minute. There you go. Kind of missed that first one, but I think that first one is on point. Let's try to get it. All right, let's zoom in. This is fun. Fun, tedious part. No. Here we go. All of them. That first one, whatever. It's being stubborn. All right, hit the Q. <clears throat> Excuse me. And what we're going to want to do is you want to specify how you want to quantize. Do you want it whole notes, half notes, quarter notes, A, 16th, blah, 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 blah. Um, for more complex drums, I would suggest going higher. I like to stay around 16th. I mean, let's try the fourth, see what it does. Quarter note. There you go. It actually worked. Kind of. All right, so now I got it kind of where I want it. So let's we could we could uh, change it up. So we could just drag everything, and you know, really get the nitty gritty really quick. So let's try to make this quick. So I want that here. All right, you know why? Let's change this to thirties twos, just so I have more options. I wanted this. Ready? Boom. Want more options? Nope. A little late. All right. Uh huh. There it is. So now <clears throat> we can even do this. We can highlight everything. Command C, Command V. No. Right here. It wants to pace right, which it doesn't. There you go. Let's duplicate it, and it doesn't get the kick. So that's fine. Let's duplicate it again. Now let's grab this one. Bang. And bang. So Command D duplicates everything. Now we should be good. Yep. There's a high hat. Yeah, so there you go. I'm getting carried away. So we don't need to record that hi-hat. Um, so that's how you do it. So now, that's how I would get started. And um, I hope I made it clear for you guys. One quick thing, what I like to do, <clears throat> excuse me, and this is a little more technical, is you click the sample, right? And you hit audio, detect transients, Audio, split at bend markers. So now it cut the sample. It spliced it for you at all the transients. So now it's already highlighted, or if it's not highlighted, make sure you have the arrow, not the cross. There you go. Right click, send to sample one. It's in my recents, or you can go to audio, send to sample one. Boom. Now, what we want to do really quick is turn off impact right here. This is another problem I was having I had to look up. Deactivate it because it'll actually play. If I keep impact on, right? So C1 is dedicated to the kick and it's also dedicated to something in the sample. So watch this. Oh, haha. -ha. Input. <clears throat> MPK. Or whatever keyboard you have. See that? The snare and the uh, sample are going. We don't want that. <clears throat> so what we want to do is turn impact off really quick. And I guess this is just an uh, MPK thing or maybe other triggers or MIDI things. But eh, 
it's a small little step. So now if you check out the sample, see? So you could get crazy and you could play this to any, you know, to any kind of rhythm or any melody you make by chopping up the sample. And you can even go in and edit sample. You can get crazy. Like you can chop it as much as you want. You can do it manually. It's kind of cool. And you can do what I did earlier. Instead of detecting transients, you can chop up pieces and then send it to uh, studio uh, sample one and then go from there. So you, you don't even have to worry about the actual sample you have staying as is. I just wanted to show you guys that because I got really crazy on another on a different one on a beat that I actually made. And it was kind of cool. So, yeah, guys, that's about it. I am back. Sorry for the wait. And I'm sorry if this video kind of dragged. I love learning about beat making. So I just wanted to give you guys how I start and how I get moving. Um, once again, if you guys have uh, um, better options or know a lot more than me, please tell me and please let me know. And please put us on. Testimony one, thank you so much for requesting this video. And if any of you guys have any requests or any questions, please don't hesitate to ask because I do read the comments and I do do take input and i just love the collaboration man i love this so please smash that like button the subscribe button and the bell notifications all that goodness if this video did anything for you and let's go man happy mixing happy music making happy beat making it's at from headcrack studios aka logical and let's get it we out